In episode 2, how to build C++ 20 applications in Visual Studio IDE, Mr. Metin Asi, I'm sorry I cannot pronounce your name correctly, left a comment. I don't know, but why I need make this modification with codes for all configuration, even for your project. He used the code to make the project build successfully. That's probably because he used blank space in his installation. In my case, I installed tvb, tvb, bin. In this folder, for example, I never used blank space. This is my working folder. Here, here, I never used blank space character, so I don't need a code. If you use blank character in your pass, then you have to code, as Mr. Metin pointed out. I believe Mr. Metin, RC, he knows how to learn C++ programming language. At the end of this series of videos, Mr. Metin will master modern C++ language because he tries my code by himself. We cannot learn seeming just by watching others seeming. We cannot learn C++ language just by watching my videos. You have to try it by yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 3rd, 2020. This is my sixth episode about the programming language C++ 20 standard. In this episode, I will discuss type tag dispatch, context peer, if context peer. This session continues from my previous episode, episode 05. If you haven't watched my previous episode, please watch this video. Otherwise, you may not be able to understand my current and future sessions. If you do not have source code for our previous episode, you can double click this link and download the source code from our previous episode. This is my working folder. I will copy, paste, rename episode 6 type tag dispatch hit enter start visual studio code open your working folder i will rename this function tag disp hit enter we created this file in our previous episode now from summation to partially fixed, I will copy this code up to this point right before function main, copy, paste, scroll up, I will make demarcation here, I will remove this code. And I will remove this comment. And I will change this function name, summation, IMPL, IMPL means implementation, tag, dispatch. Now I copy this function once again, copy, paste, the same function name, the same argument. Now here, std, bool, constant true this is type okay this is type now here std bool constant false this is true this is false true i will use this function for arg type 1 and ARG type 2 
ARG type 1, ARG type 2 are integral types. Here, the common type of ARG type 1 and ARG type 2 are not integral type. In case of integral type, make signed is supported. Make signed T is supported for integral type. In case of non-integral type, if common type is not integral type, this type function is not supported. Instead, I will fix it type T. Okay? Now, I will copy this part. Copy. Paste it here. We don't need this. I delete. Now, return. We call this function. AA, BB, we have to pass STD, full constant. We have to pass an instance. Now here, using common T, STD, common type T, ARG, type 1, ARG, type 2. Using common type T, we have a common type of ARG type 1 and ARG type 2. Now, bool is integral, STD is integral V common T. Now, we pass this value here. Now, we call this function and I delete this part. This does not work. Once again, this does not work. This is integral is Boolean. We provide Boolean value here, but this is integral is not compile time construct. This is not compile time constant. Now start your command prompt. dir cd006 type tag dispatch. cl ehsc sdd c++ latest tag dispatch cpp fe m.exe hit enter. No, it does not work. It should be context peer. This value is used as an argument of template type. This boolean value is integral is used in the angle bracket as template function argument. Now we build again. I have to remove it. We build again. It works perfectly. Once again, if I remove context peer, it does not work. If we put context peer, then it works. Context peer was introduced to C11 for compile time constructs. Now I scroll up, I will copy this function, copy, I make demarcation, paste it here. Now I will remove this function name and remove this part. Also remove this part. Now here, if context peer std is integral v common t, then I find like this. I will cut paste it here. 
I will indent a little bit. Else, I will copy this part, copy, paste. I will delete this part. Common T. This section, common T is integral type. This section, common T is not integral type. Now I copy this function, copy, paste, test, summation. Now we call this function like this. Now I copy this function again, paste it here, I disable this. We build again CLSM. It works perfectly. I will start another command prompt. This is for GNU G++ and the Clang compiler. DIR CD006 type tag dispatch G++ SDD C++ 2A tag DISP CPP LTBB LTBB MALLOC underscore proxy O C dot exe hit enter. GNU compiler also works successfully. Now C Clang. Clang compiler also works successfully. The programming language C++ is composed of C++ core language and standard template library or STL. The core language is composed of compile time, construct, and run time constructs. Without understanding compile time constructs, we cannot take full advantage of modern C++ programming language. I will upload complete source code to my website. By the time you watch this video, you can click this link and download the complete source code. Please leave your questions, suggestions, comments. I will answer as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.